Keytrack Plus is basically a transfer curve for node inputs. We have a graph we can change or customize here, and we have a modulator output, and we have in the inspector here an output amount where we can change the modulation amount globally for this modulator. So when we apply this here to Polysynth, you can see we have already a graph in here, and we can open up the editor by just clicking on the space, and we can draw in any, anything we want. And the input key or the key on your keyboard is basically represented here by a white dot. So when I press C3, it's right in the middle. C4, one octifier, it's here. C3 or C2 is one octave lower, is here. Right, you can see here C3 is in the middle. Every every key that you are pressed this higher it goes to the right side, and everything that's lower goes to the left side. And then with this curve, you can draw in how much modulation you want to apply. So when we use this here on the cutoff, right, we modulate the cutoff with this. The higher we go on the keyboard with the keys, the more we open up here the frequency. So C3 does nothing because we're staying here at zero. But the more we go up, the more modulation value we apply because of this curve. You can also draw this completely in the opposite direction here by using a pencil, maybe doing something like this. And now C3, or let's actually do this here better. Let's let's uh, remove all the all the keys. So now C3 is in the middle, does nothing, but when we go up, the cutoff actually closes, right? And then we go down, we open up. So you can paint in here how much modulation you want to apply on each key you are pressing. So we can also do certain things, something like this here, or maybe change the, uh, the grid editor here or the grids and then paint in very weird things and each key then gets a different different modulation value okay so it's a transfer curve and you can map input nodes to modulation value and then modulate something easy peasy